What made you decide that you want to run for government period, become a senator and all that? How did that happen to you? Well, I don't think I ever actually decided. I think it was a bit of an accident. What happened a long, long time ago is that um, the person who had been holding uh, a seat in my district decided to run for another job, and he lost. So there was a vacancy, and I just said to myself, well, hell, I can do that, and I threw my hat in the ring. I didn't give it a whole lot of consideration. After I won, I uh, had a reckoning, an awakening about what the heck did I just do? What was I thinking? So it was... um, it was an ill-considered choice, but in the looking back, it was a, a really um, wise thing to do. But at the moment, when I had a young family and a shaky marriage, it was a, a really uh, awkward situation. And so at the time, you were married with children. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And how yeah. did your husband feel about you running for a Senate and, and won? Right. He had been... Um, gone a lot because he was an independent filmmaker and he was traveling all over the world. So he wasn't really around all that much for my day-to-day decision and uh, activities. Uh, When he came home and realized what had happened, though, he was not that happy. I will grant you that. And then um, when I started serving, he started keeping a time card on me because I had to go to the state capitol and attend all the meetings and try to get home after a while, and he was really feeling abused, if you would, or at least neglected, uh, that I wasn't there to cook dinner and be there for him. Um, so it was difficult, just say. It was difficult. We had some rocky years. Uh, we ended up separated and then ended up getting divorced. But I will say the kids, they're really resilient, and they've all grown up to be healthy, young, independent, active Individuals. And do when you look back on it, now that you're divorced and all that, and the kids didn't have the father and mother there together, do you regret running for Senate or keeping that position rather than obeying your husband? No, I don't regret it. I do think I made the right choice for my life and for my kids. Uh, the man I was married to was very controlling, and um, the my daughter in particular felt that he was abusive. So I, uh, I didn't think he was actually abusive, but he was incredibly controlling. And uh, so that was then, but that's 20 years ago now. Uh, are you a Christian? I am. I'm an active member and sing in my church choir. Really? And shouldn't a wife, a Christian wife, obey her husband? I believe that we are a partnership. And when I married my husband, we acted as partners and we made decisions together. But he changed. And uh, it was unfortunate that he decided to become somewhat of an um, individual who wanted his way all the time instead of working as a partnership. And does God see a marriage between a man and a woman? Does he see that as a partnership, a husband and wife? I think that God sees all people as his children, whatever relationships they are in. But does he see a man, a husband and wife as partnership or husband and wife, and that the wife should obey her husband? I don't believe that the uh, God I worship and Jesus Christ, who I also worship, has that kind of attitude about women. In fact, one of the things I really enjoy about Christianity is that it gives, I believe, the authority of agency to women that other faiths don't necessarily do. And what's that authority? What do you mean by that? That you make your own decisions with your own conscience and your own faith, and you aren't controlled by another person. Really? And so were you disappointed that your marriage ended as a result of wanting to be a senator? I um, don't think the marriage ended because I wanted to be a senator. It, it ended because my husband did not feel that he got enough attention and time 
from me because I was busy at my job. Right. Now I was working a I was working two jobs at the time because in our state the legislature is part time. So I had another job that I had to maintain as well because I supported our family with my income. His work did not bring in the kind of money that would care for our family. So or pay the mortgage. So I had to keep working to pay the mortgage and take care of the kids. And he would go off and travel to all kinds of parts of the world. And, um, you know, he'd come home and expect everything to go his way. Amazing. And so how many children you and your husband had together? Three. Three. All mm -hmm. girls or boys and girls? Two boys and a girl. Amazing. And so mm -hmm. why would you marry a man that was not capable of taking care of you? Oh, he was capable. He just decided that he really wanted to pursue his own dream, which was to make independent films. Oh. And so he took off and did that. And I supported him in his dream and his ambition. And he was good at it. I'm not complaining about his work. It right. was good. And he did a good job. I just don't think that um, it was beneficial to our family. And, and did the kids suffer as a result of the divorce? No, I believe they actually thrived because of it, because the um, unfortunate time that we were having a, a rocky marriage was a time when um, they felt they, you know, children are very intuitive and they could feel the uh, disputes and the emotions that were going on. And they became more, um, they, they just withdrew. They didn't uh, participate and it was hard on them when we were having uh, those disputes in our home. And I believe that it was a um, relief to them when uh, my husband decided to leave and move out. Uh, uh, who are they closest to you, you or their father? Me. They're, cl they're still closest to you? Mm -hmm. I'm very close to my kids. Oh, amazing. So one last thing that I want to ask you about this uh, pro tempo. tempo. Um, were women created to lead or to follow? I think God creates all people to be the best they can be, and whether that's to be a leader or a follower. And were women created to lead or to follow? I don't believe God created women to do any one thing, any more than he created men to do any one thing. I think God gave us agency to find our future and to achieve the best we can for our world and for him. So I don't see it as a sex role, a gender role. I see this as a human role. And so you don't believe in the order of God, God and Christ, Christ and man, man over woman and woman over children. You don't accept that order from God. I accept my understanding of God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit is that the um, intent for human beings is to do be good stewards to of our earth and of our people and to do the best we can to glorify and to praise and, and to do the way of the world that you can make better. And that's what I think I have a mission to do. And I believe I've actually achieved a lot of that in my work in the that. legislature. And so you don't accept the order of God in Christ, Christ over man, man over woman. You don't accept that. I hear from my, my pastor and from my church that all people are created equal. And we don't have superior human beings. We are all equal. Is your pastor a man or a woman? I have three pastors in my church, two men and a woman. Okay. And so one last time, you don't accept the order of God and Christ, Christ and man, man over woman. You just don't accept that. I do not believe in superiority of men over women. No. When God created it that way, did he make a mistake? God did not create it that way in my view. But in his view, he did. In the Bible, in the Word, he did. No, I Was don't that believe a mistake? so. That is not the way I read the Bible, and I do read the Bible. So we have a difference in theological positions, 
Jesse, I don't believe that men are destined to rule over women. Really? And then, oh, you just said something that made me think of something else. And so if that's not true, that man should rule over a woman, how can women go out of control when she doesn't have her father as a little girl and as an adult woman, when she doesn't have the man over her, why does the woman go out of control? Well, I think boys go out of control just as much when they don't have a good parent. I've seen many, many young juvenile men go wrong when they haven't had good parenting. So I think that happens to all humans, whether they're female or male. Should a man ever listen to a woman? Well, I would hope so. <laughs> God said that a man, because you listen to the woman, you suffer. And so I noticed that every time men listen to women, they suffer. That's an odd position, I think. So was God kind of odd? No, I think your position is a little <laughs> odd. <laughs> <laughs>